Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with some more cleaning motivation for you guys. You're also going to see some cooking in this video. Um, you're going to see us starting to put the Christmas tree up. Right now, this is we're going to start in the living room. I had to rearrange some furniture around so we could put the Christmas tree up. And of course, you're going to see my kiddos in the video. So, hope you guys enjoy. So here once again you guys are going to see me that I started in the living room. I like to start in the living room because it's the first thing people see when they walk in through the door. Um, I start moving the couches. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum and then steam clean the floors. I don't know about you guys but I love how my floors feel when they're steam clean. I, even though when you mop they do feel clean but I just love how they feel when they're steam clean. You could just walk around and they just feel this little extra like a little extra cleaner that way. Um, I do add vinegar to my steamer. It disinfects. My husband hates the smell of bleach, so I've been using vinegar on almost everything to disinfect around the house. So even though we do have a big living room and it's kind of tight in space because we have a lot of stuff in there, our furniture is big, um, I used to be able to move the computer desk to the dining room, but I have more stuff in the dining room now because like I said before, we just bought this house a year ago and we're, you know, upgrading little by little, doing our touches, remodeling and stuff. So I had to give it a the chase lounger that was in the living room before. So I can move the seat that was by the window because that's where our Christmas tree is going to go. And you'll see later on in the video where we decide to put the Christmas tree. I forgot to mention one of the reasons why I always move the couches when I'm cleaning is because our couches are kind of low to the ground and you can't really get, I can't really get the vacuum underneath there to clean them so I have to move the couches. With six kids, they always somehow manage to put stuff underneath the couch so um, if I don't move them on a regular basis, when I do go to go clean underneath them, they're full of stuff. It surprises me how much stuff they could fit underneath them couches. And here I'm asking Liz Mary how she thinks it looks. Um, that big basket thing that I picked up and trying to figure out where to put now is my whole is my blanket holder. Um, we don't have a linen closet in this house, and the big bulky blankets I didn't know what to do with them. I had extra yarn because I like to crochet, and I had extra um, thick yarn, so I decided to make my own blanket. That's why my little blanket basket it's so many different colors because it's just pieces of yarn that I was going to throw away in a way because I didn't know what to do with them and I decided to make a basket. I also made my little basket that holds my pull-ups and my wipes for in the living room. You guys will see them. Um, I crocheted that. It was supposed to be for toys but I ended up using it for the wipes and the pull-ups and when they were using diapers it was full of diapers too. That way I didn't have wipes and pull-ups all over the place.
so as I was putting um, the pull-ups and the wipes back in the basket, Liliana, you can see in the video, she was taking out toys because she thought it was playtime because the living room was clean, so she wanted to play with toys. I did stop for a minute and told her, hey, put the toys back up because we're bringing out the Christmas tree. And she said, Christmas tree? She didn't pick them all up, but she picked some up. So the goal here is to decorate the Christmas tree and a Grinch theme. We've never done themes before, but uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas is one of my favorite movies. So we're going to create our own ornaments this year and we're going to figure it out and hopefully it comes out like I have it in my head. And I don't know what they'll find. I got something huge. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay, mommy, hold up. Trying to do something.
put tips on, but I need them. I have it. As you guys can see, this is the inner saw. Um, I didn't do a deep cleaning. It was just more of a quick organized clean because I did the deep cleaning last week. I did the couches and did the the chair rail around in the living room. I did all that. I did behind the couches, did the side. This is just a quick cleanup because I had to reorganize the living room since I had to put up the Christmas tree. So my little chair that was over here had to be moved. And then I gave Caden the chase lounger for now, just because I needed it out of the way. And our living room is big, but it's not big. Um, I do hate our couches. I hate them with a passion. They were free, so I can't really be too mad at them. We do plan on upgrading the couches, so wait for that video. The coffee table my husband made for me when we moved here because we didn't have one. Um, it's not where we're going to keep later on. Uh, when we do start redoing the basement for the kids, then this furniture and that coffee table is going to go to the basement and then we're going to get new stuff. All the toys in the mantle are going to disappear because they're all going downstairs to the basement. We just have to finish it up. And I am watching this crazy life. I love her YouTube channel. I love watching it. Um, but other than that, this is done. I'm going to head to the kitchen and dining room. And I'm going to start dinner. We're eating lasagna tonight for dinner. Kitchen's not as bad this time. Still a little messy, but not too bad hot turn the stove because I'm about to start cooking as I'm cleaning the kitchen. Um, I know it's late. I got, I had to run to the store and do other stuff, but now I'm getting to it. So I'm going to start the cleaning. In the kitchen now, you can see the list Mary was helping me with the cleaning. She finished up her homework while sitting on the island. And as soon as she got done with the homework, she started vacuuming for me. She picked up the trash. She cleaned up the island. Um, she did help me with the cooking some. And then we finished up and we ate dinner. Um, I know you guys are going to see later on in the video when I finish cooking that there's a bunch of jars and containers on my island because that's how I left it for the night because I was tired and I was ready for bed. The kitchen looked better than it did before we started. Um, those containers I had bought them on Black Friday at Walmart and um, 
I wanted those containers for the longest, but they were so expensive. And when they came on sale, I had to get them. They were going in the pantry. I just had to reorganize the pantry. That's why I left them on the counter overnight. Don't think they're going to stay there forever because they don't. Okay, so meat's ready, noodles are ready, oven's preheated. Time to put this lasagna together.
So Christian is being a little lazy today. He wanted to do Zoom on his phone, sitting on the couch instead of sitting on his computer with his chair. But this is what's going on today. Um, drinking my morning coffee. And this is what we're gonna be doing today. It's going to be the dining room. It's a hot ass mess. But we're gonna clean it up today. And now you see my Princess Liliana eating breakfast. Um, she likes to sit on the island and watch TV. I just asked her what she wants to watch and we put it on. She was eating oatmeal and drinking a sippy cup. And now she's in the room with me, y'all. So this is our dining room and I'm cleaning it up. Um, our house doesn't have a pantry. So what I did was I used our old armoire that we had bought eight years ago since we no longer needed it and turned it into a pantry. Um, Loisa helped me put the shelves in. We did the back cause the back <laughs> had came off in the move, the whole back broke off. She helped me do that. And then I bought chalkboard paint and we painted the doors in the inside so I could have like a menu on one side and then grocery list on the other because we all know kids they eat up stuff from the pantry and never tell you about it so I figure if I put it on there close enough with chalk it'll be easier for them to keep track and then that way I'm not at the store trying to figure out what I need um, I usually have them send me a picture of the door with the grocery list on it I think our pantry came out pretty amazing um, for me and her doing it, for me and Louisa doing it and knowing what we were doing to begin with. But I love it. Uh, we were going for a farmhouse style, so the pantry was done by us and I decorated it like I wanted it to be. I forgot to say earlier that the pantry, the outside of it, we painted it the same color as our kitchen cabinets when we painted them to match the dining room to the kitchen to have like the same color theme going through. Um, the little brown baskets in the pantry I got from the Dollar Tree to organize the kids' snacks and stuff like that. I originally wanted the clear containers that I'm putting in right now to do the entire pantry but like I said before they were kind of expensive and I couldn't afford them so I just went with the little baskets and they they do a good job I don't even if they're from the Dollar Tree they do an amazing job of keeping up the snacks I just went ahead and put the new containers in there and it looks good it's not the biggest pantry in the world but it does its job it holds our food I do have the bigger bulky items towards the bottom of the pantry um I think it came out great I love it
So, the coffee bar and the china cabinet you guys are seeing now. Both of those things I got for free from my best friend Brandy. She gave those to me. So, I wanted a coffee bar because I did not want the coffee machine on top of the kitchen counters because I don't have a lot of counter space to begin with and I had seen you know on Pinterest it looks so pretty with the farmhouse style and I had seen I have on Facebook I've seen a couple of them so we went with a similar color it's a blue but it also matches to our colors in the kitchen um, my daughter Liz Mary painted the coffee bar sign for me I told her what I wanted her to do and she did it exactly how I wanted it to do um, I decorated the coffee bar myself. We bought all the stuff and put it together. I did switch the little hanging cups. They're Christmas cups now. Before I had cups that my girls had painted for me. So yeah, I love my coffee bar. It's really good. We do drink a lot of coffee in this house. And then the china cabinet, um, it was a dark brown as well. And Brandy gave that one to me and I painted it to match the coffee bar. Now the table, I do want to paint my table because I wanted a farmhouse table. We're going to wait till it gets a little bit warmer out since we're about to be in winter. So I could take it outside in the backyard and sand it and then paint it. And I can't wait to do that. As you guys can see, it's never a dull moment in this house. The twins love being in front of the camera. Liliana and Lucas, as soon as they see that I'm recording, they like to get in front of it and they like to dance and make noises and stuff. I also forgot to mention that um, the chandelier, I do want to take it down and spray paint it black because right now the gold doesn't go with my decor. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that once I do the table as the farmhouse style. I think I'm going to have my husband bring down the chandelier, spray paint it black, and I want to add the little crystals, I don't know, make it look fancy and pretty.
I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that I did record this video in two days. So if you're wondering why I'm wearing something different at the, in this part of the video than I was waiting in the beginning of the video is because it's two different days. Um, I don't do all my cleaning in one day. It's impossible. I tried it before and it's just not happening. Uh, with so many kids in the house and the kids are always home now because this whole corona thing it's hard to do all the cleaning in one day so i just split my days there are days that i'll do the kitchen and there are days that i'll do the dining room and some laundry i just decided that it's easier if i just split the cleaning instead of trying to do it all at once because ain't nobody got time to do it all at one in one time it's not possible So we're almost towards the end of the video. Uh, right now in this part of the video, I'm making the kids some Rice Krispie Street snacks. I like making my own because it's cheaper and it's less sugar in the snacks. Um, you're also going to see me making the kids some Frappuccinos because they love Starbucks Frappuccino, but let's face it, it's expensive. So I just learn how to make my own at home. It's way cheaper and they can have it whenever they want it. Um, I usually try to make them like right before school starts for breakfast as they like to eat it with like a bagel or something. Uh, sometimes I do make it when it's their lunch time. The, today I made it a little bit later in the day because I was busy and I didn't get a chance to do it in, early in the morning. So uh, I don't make it all the time because that's a lot of sugar for them, the Frappuccinos. But I do try to make it at least once or twice a week for them. They love them. They always asking for them and I don't mind making them for them. Hey guys, so we're at the towards the end of the video and as I was making the frappuccinos, I realized that I was out of whipping cream. I like to make my own whipped cream because I don't like buying the cans because it's so much money to buy the little cans for a little bit of whipped cream. I am a cheap mom. I am a couponer. I like to save money. So I save money by making my own whipped cream. I'm not trying to be, oh, I'm a better mom than anybody. No, I'm just cheap. I love to coupon. My kids and my husband make fun of me because I say, if I don't have a coupon for it, you're not getting it. I just love, you know, I love the thrill, I love the rush, I love going to the register and my total being 30 bucks before coupons and then when I give her the coupons it comes down to $7, That's just, it's just amazing to me. I got into couponing a while back and I do have a lot of stuff in my stockpile, maybe one day I'll record my stockpile when I organize it so I can show you guys all the stuff that I have. I just love the rush, I love to save, I refuse to pay full price for something when I get it for cheaper. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I hope that I gave at least some of you guys some motivation to clean whether you're cleaning with me or just watching the video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for coming along in our journey. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the Franklin Family 8. Lily just joined me on the voiceover. So if you hear a little voice speaking behind me, it's because she came in the room as I was doing it. You guys have a wonderful night. Love ya. Bye.